This is the Pink Dalmatian Scrapper and today I'm going to show you how to use the font feature in the Cricut Craft Room. I have a new mat and project opened up and the first thing I'm going to do is rename my mat layer. And since I'm showing you the font feature, I'm making a title on one of my layouts. So I will just name this title, keep it simple. I'm going to go over to the font tab and for this project I'm using my Gypsy font and right now the standard creative feature. So here's where you would select any of your font cartridges. To use them you'd need to make sure you owned them and that they were linked to either the craft room or your Gypsy if you were transferring that file to your Gypsy. And then once you have your cartridge selected you can choose any of the creative features that that cartridge offers. So then I'm going to select add a new text box and you want to type in one word of your title and you can adjust the font size right here and you can do any little slanting you want right there and then to actually make the word come together I'm going to go to the letter spacing and I'm going to start bringing it together and watch the letters because they'll actually change once they connect or that change right there now it looks like some of them are connected but these ones right here don't look connected so you need to make sure they all are connected before you finish that then you click on done and I move that out of the way because each time you click on add a new text box it opens up right here so it's just easiest, easier if any of your words are out of the way and you would do this step for each of the words in your title or each of the words you wanted to put on your layout, however you're doing that. And then go back to your mat layers and I want to add a new layer. I'm going to rename this one shadow. So I'm going to make a shadow for each of my words. Now right here your layers would be just like if you had these mats on top of each other. So right now your shadow is on top of your title so it would actually be hiding your title if that was really the case so for this next feature to work you want to actually take your shadow and click on it and then drag it below your title so if the title was on top of the shadow then you'd be able to see both of them and it it would be how it looked so I hope that makes sense I don't know how else to describe that if you have any questions just leave some a comment and I'll I'll try and explain it a little bit better. Now you want to make sure that you have the shadow mat selected and you go back to your font feature and this time I want to use the shadow blackout feature so I've selected that. I'm going to click add a new text box and I'm going to type in my word again and you can tell that it's a shadow and you would need to make any of your adjustments except for the letter spacing that you had previously made on your original word. So click on done and then you want to drag this down and line up the first letter so that it looked like a good shadow behind it and come over to the letter spacing and start bringing that together so it actually shadows the entire word that looks great click on done and then you want to move that out of the way that way when you went to cut all of your shadows were cut at one color and all of your titles were cut at another color so you would again do that step for each of the letters in your title or your layout and that's basically how the font feature works on the Cricut Craft Room. If you have any questions, be sure and leave them either here on the YouTube video or on my blog. And you can see the finished layout on my blog at pinkdalmatianscrapper.blogspot.com.